my dear brothers and sisters and children in Jesus Christ. The 22nd Sunday Eucharistic celebration may grace you forever and ever. I wish you all, I pray for you all, that you have a peaceful life today. Today, the first reading calls you for a strong conviction because Jeremiah, the prophet, is murmuring to God, God, you have enticed me. You have enticed me. Yes, I was enticed. I thought, I felt that you are such a great God. You have called me to do many miracles, wonders to this world. But practically I am seeing, I am always mocked. I am teased by the people. I am always tortured by the people. But... I am not giving up my hope to say the truth about you, to say and speak the word of yours. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my dear friends, in the reading, it's like a murmuring. You have enticed me. You have enticed me. I was enticed. But see the conviction? It's like a burning fire in my bones, the word of God. So I cannot but you see a great conviction from a prophet towards whom the king, the rulers, he could say this, I will stand by my own conviction that I preach the word of God. And today's second reading to the Romans, St. Paul is appealing our Christian people. You become a true and holy sacrificial offering to the Lord. Yes, we are called to be the real and true and holy sacrificial offering. This is the ultimate ambition and the goal and the destiny of each Christian. Yes, we become the offering, the offering, which means a lot to this world today, which means a lot to this world. Yes, my dear friends, we become offering. It's not becoming rich or power or educated or whatever else the world is teaching. It is an art to become an offering. And finally, the gospel reading clearly narrates the real offering that is Jesus. Yes, there was so many followers, many disciples, the twelve apostles. Among them, Peter took a lead role many a times, many a times. You no know, speaking out the faith, following him, so many things. He was taking the lead always. Today's situation, in this today's gospel, he also took a lead. What is that? Jesus is clearly telling. Like a storyteller, he was explaining his <clears throat> destination. Explaining his destination. What is that? My dear friends, I have to suffer. I have to take up the cross. And I will be killed. And the third day I will rise again. Like a story, step by step. What is going to happen for me? He was explaining. Immediately, P 
Peter took a leer. Never, Lord. You cannot die. You cannot die. How is possible? Son of God, we all hope in you. How you can die. And what about our life? We are afraid of our life. There is the fear. We also have the fear of life. How to live without all this? Jesus was responding rightly. Immediately, instantly, get lost, Satan. You become huddled to my destination. By showing your love, by showing your faith, by showing your relationship, by showing your leadership. No, you get away. Because I have to do this. I am for this. I have to present myself as an offering to the Lord. What does it mean? A total sacrifice. A total sacrifice. I have to do that. No one can stand a huddle before this. My mother, my friends, my relatives, no, I am for the Lord. I am for the Lord. Yes, a total surrender which leads to total sacrificial offering, my dear friends. I can say an example. Recently, we heard about Snowlin. A young girl from Tuticorin, in Tamil Nadu. You just reflect the history. Sterilite copper factory was there for many years, killing many people by its product. A factory kills the surrounding people. So many social activists, peoples, faithful, many were appealing to the government, the officials, please remove it. It kills, it spreads diseases. We cannot afford it. We are dying, pleading, pleading, praying, praying for many years, struggling, protesting. Nobody was there to listen. Finally, the people around the place, all together, again make a major protest. And there among them, a young girl snarling. She was such a young girl brought up in a Catholic community, listening to the word of God, listening to the priests and nuns and the church leaders and the parents. All the teachings of Christian Catholic values. And finally, the social leaders, they also were teaching her how to become real support to this struggle for people. She believed it was in her bone, in her heart burning. Yes, let this factory be removed so that our people may live, may live. A long life, a gift of life. It was only her desire, as like many others. As a young girl, she to join. She was aware. Yes, anything may happen if we go there for the protest. Maybe arrested, maybe wounded, but never thought she would be killed. But she was killed. She was gunned down. Terrible. What is the message she is giving to us for all through the history? I would say, I do not know whether the global church will do anything, but the church of Tamil Nadu would do something that she would be always remembered by the people. Yes, as a surrender, she offered herself a total offering to the society, to the people, to the God. Yes, a sacrifice. As Jesus way, as St. Paul pointed out to the Romans, she did it. 
She did it. She did it. It is the message becoming a sacrificial offering. This is our ultimate aim, my dear friends. For that only we pray, we make liturgies, we make pilgrimages, we learn catechism, we learn all the church values. Final aim is to become a sacrificial offering for the Lord, that is for the people. She will be ever remembered. She will be ever remembered. She is a true Christian, Catholic, human. She is an universal human now. Now, my dear friends, reflect the whole gospel and the readings today. We come to an understanding that we all become a sacrificial offering so that the people, those who are in down, downwards, poor, poverty, they will have a life. They will have a life. So my dear friends, priests, nuns, Catholic leaders, lay leaders, we learn from Snowling that we should become offering to the society. Then God will Bless our generation and the generation to come. Be blessed. For that, we continue to pray. And I have a question. Are we willing to allow God to entice you and change your behavior so that one day you may become a sacrificial offering.